Hey guys, we're going to be talking about integration of uh, rational functions in this session. So here's an example of a question. We want to determine uh, integral of 3x minus 2 divided by x plus 1 dx. Now, the problem is we can't just simplify this any further because this is the most that it can be simplified. But what we also can do is we can use long division to split it up into a quotient and find out what the remainder is. So, if I use long division, um, I know that I've got to multiply x plus 1 with 3 to get 3x plus 1, and if I subtract it, uh, what I'll have is 3x minus 3x is 0, negative 2 and minus 3 is negative 5. So, with this information, I can actually rewrite the question, because I know that 3x minus 2 divided by x plus 1 could be written as, what do we got? The quotient is 3 uh, plus, the remainder is minus 5, and the divisor is x plus 1. Now, if you're unsure about this method, um, I would ask you to watch the long division video in this series from Algebra, and hopefully you get the hang of it. All right, once we get to this part, uh, things are just pretty much normal integration because 3 integrates to 3x, and we have plus, well, this part, we, can uh, we know that 1 over x will be integrated as ln of x, so in this case, it will be negative 5 ln of x plus 1 plus c. So simplifying this, we would have 3x minus 5 ln of x plus 1 plus c. Okay, so anytime you see a rational function, uh, the first thing you might want to do is see if you can actually cancel out uh, or simplify it. If you can't simplify it, then use long division to separate it into a quotient and a remainder. All right, I'll have a look at another example. Okay, in this example, we want to determine the integral of x squared plus x plus 3 divided by x plus 2 dx. Now we know that we can't actually factorize this this function here because we know x squared plus x plus 3 we can't factorize it to a factor where it's x plus 2. So the only thing we know what to do here is we can actually use long division to separate it into a quotient, a remainder, and a divisor. So I'm going to have x plus 2 and x squared plus x plus 3 here. I know that I need to multiply by x first to get x squared plus 2x. Subtracting this, I would get 0, and x minus 2x would be minus x. Move the 3 down, got minus x plus 3. Therefore, in the quotient, I need to multiply by negative 1 to make this negative x minus 2. Subtracting this, I'm going to get 0, because negative x, take away negative x is 0. And 3 take away negative 2 is positive 5. So now what I could do is I could rewrite this function as a quotient plus remainder. So the quotient is going to be x minus 1 plus 5 divided by the divisor, which is x plus 2. And of course it's dx. So once again, it's just simple procedure from this point onwards. It's just basic integration. x integrates to x squared over 2. Minus 1 integrates to negative x. And 5 divided by x plus 2. Well, we know that 1 over x is ln of x when you integrate it. So we've got plus 5 ln of x plus 2. And of course, don't forget the arbitrary constant, which is the plus c. Okay. That's how you do integration of rational functions, guys. Um, thank you for watching.